this patient has some suspicious calcifications in her left breast. So we've taken our scout and our two uh, stereo pair images and we're just uh, lining up our uh, cursor on the calcifications, targeting the calcifications. And uh, then we're going to go over and uh, get her anesthetized. First thing we're going to do is numb the skin and then uh, usually we'll numb uh, to the level, uh, the Z depth of the calcifications and also one centimeter deep to the calcifications in case I need to push the probe in a little bit deeper. Once we've made our skin incision, then we can advance the uh, Encore probe into the Z depth identified at the targeting. And then we'll take a stereo pair of images to document we're in the proper location. Once we've uh, identified our appropriate location, we'll set our sweep. Right now we're putting additional marcane anesthetic in through the back of the probe for long-acting anesthetic. And uh, this is our uh, stereo pair showing the calcifications are in uh, good proximity to the probe. We're going to turn the sampling notch to the appropriate location to acquire the uh, samples. And this is taking our first sample. So we're going to go through the sampling sweep. Just by keeping our foot on the foot pedal and uh, sampling through the sweep and then we'll check our uh, tissue samples for calcifications. This is a seven gauge probe so we get a good sample with each sampling. And now we've taken our four samples and we're going to check our specimen for calcifications. Here's our specimen x-ray, and you can see the calcifications in the tissue. So we've obtained our sample, and we don't need to take any further samples. Now I'm going to put the uh, clip in through the introducer, through the back of the probe, so we've opened the sample notch. And it uh, will seat here. You want to make sure it's well seated, and then, and we've pulled back five millimeters prior to placing the clip. And once we've placed the clip, we're going to take another stereo pair. And we show the marker that's been placed where the calcifications were. And we can pull up a before and after image which is nice to show the patient, uh, to show them that the calcifications that were there are now uh, gone and in the uh, specimen image. We can pull that up on the uh, Faxatron image as well.